All right, folks, today we have some brand new news about Tears of the Kingdom, about the fact that it's likely not going to be getting DLC, straight from the developers, by the way, Eiji Anuma and Fujibayashi, putting out there that, yeah, there's no plans for DLC, so we got to go over that. Plus, they do talk about the development of the game and the development of Zelda games in general, including the next Zelda game. Man, that's pretty exciting. So before I dive in, I want to remind you that we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. So go ahead and drop that like, subscribe to the channel, and ring-a-ling that ding ling to be notified of all future videos. Famitsu, who did the interview, said, Now then, I'd like to hear about your next work. I think there are various possibilities, whether it's a further sequel or a new game. Fujibayashi says, I don't know if it will be the next work. But I'm thinking about what the next fun experience will be. I can only say that I do not know at the moment what form it will take. Aonuma says, There are no plans to release additional content at this time. But that's because I feel like I've done everything I can to create a game in that world. In the first place, the reason why we chose this time as a sequel to the previous game is because we thought there would be value in experiencing a new kind of play in that place in Hyrule. Then, if such a reason is newly born, it may return to the same world again, whether it's a sequel or new work. I think it will be a completely new way to play, so I'll be happy if you could look forward to it. Since the hurdle for the next work that was raised with Breath of the Wild was surpassed with Tears of the Kingdom, the player's expectations are higher. He will make something even more amazing. I feel like I'm getting taller. This is Famitsu's comment. Fujibayashi says, Aonuma and the development team don't see it as a hurdle. So please look forward to it. Whoa! Famitsu's like going nuts. Then Fujibayashi says, I think that the staff who have worked on successive generations of the Legend of Zelda series has always had that in mind. I'm very grateful that many customers have been playing Tears of the Kingdom for a long time and deeply. So I will do my best to make the next game even more enjoyable. So what do we learn? A couple of things. We're not getting DLC. I know some people want to take those words as, oh, we're just not getting DLC for now. But if you read the full context of what Aonuma said there, he wasn't just talking about additional add-on DLC content. He meant, hey, we our next Zelda game might not be a third game in this world. We do not see a reason to return to this Hyrule as it is today. It's going to be something completely new and fresh. But he did say you can't, however, rule it out entirely that one day they might find a compelling reason to come back to this world and yada, yada, yada. So th this is sort of the way that I, I view what was said in that light. We're not getting DLC because they're making no additional content. And at this time, they are focusing probably on a new Hyrule, a new era Zelda game for the next one. But it is possible that they do come back to this and make a threequel, right? A sequel to Tears of the Kingdom. He's not ruling that out entirely. It's just not something they're really considering right now because they feel like Tears of the Kingdom was the ultimate game in this world, and they don't really feel like they have anything else to do or want to do here that they didn't already do in Tears of the Kingdom. So, yeah, they're going to be focusing on what's new. But obviously, it's always crazy when you hear Fujibayashi, you know, hey, players' expectations are higher than ever. They went sky high with Breath of the Wild. Then you exceeded those expectations. Like, how do you do it again? And when he's just like... We don't see it as a hurdle. Like, it's not even a chance. We don't see player expectations as a challenge to us. That is, you know how crazy of a response that is to be like, yeah, the players should be expecting a lot, and we still don't think that's a challenge to us. Whatever the players expect isn't even close to our internal expectations, right? It is insane to me what is happening with the Zelda team right now. They are shooting for the moon time and time again. And what's clear, at least what I'm inferring from this, is their next Zelda game is going to end up being something not into this, this world that we see now. Still going to be open world, but in a new way, done in a new area, in a new place with new Link and Zelda. What I'm curious about is how do they top what they just did now? What crazy ideas do they have to take Zelda to that next level. And can they do it? 
All I know is in Aonuma and Fujibayashi, do I trust. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jans from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch all of you in the next video. <laughs>